<laughs> Greetings, Internet. I am Eric from Games Radar, and this is Lily Bosma. Lily is the brand manager on Namco Bandai's new game, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. And we're here to talk about the game, learn a little bit about it. I think it's going to be a sleeper hit, and the only way I'm going to be wrong about that is if it's a bona fide, legitimate, full-blown hit. So, Lily, tell us a little bit about Enslaved. It's actually based on an old Chinese story, a very yeah, well-known. Very old, old story called Journey to the West. Uh, it's more than 400 years old. So there's been a lot of different products that have come out. Um, it's very loosely based, so I'll keep that uh, said so people don't... So <laughs> so the 400-year-old Chinese story wasn't based in post-apocalyptic New York that had been turned into a jungle and overrun by robots. Not quite. Not okay, quite. well that's a good <laughs> distinction to make. Then. Yes, okay. we have some of our main characters and some of the attributes that they have, but it's very loosely based, like I mentioned. Okay, so the very main character, his name is Monkey. Correct. And um, this, this is obviously, it's like a third-person combat adventure kind of game. It's a very action adventure, so it's not a full-on, uh, you know, combat game. It has exploration, it's got puzzle solving, there's a lot of different elements for this game. And Monkey himself, we've been, we've been watching it, I've I played it. Uh, Monkey has a really sort of acrobatic, almost circus-like ah. combat ah. style. Tell us about that. Well, with Monkey, what we wanted to do, he's a loner, he's survived on his own, he's had to adapt, there aren't a lot of humans around, so as you can tell from his physique, he's had to survive on his own, beat up a lot of guys, kill a lot of things in order to survive. He seems like he... He's a very brawny guy, but very flexible, he's a, you know, survival comes in every kind of different ways of hiding, doing things, probably climbing up trees, so... Yeah, he looks and moves like he was raised by gorillas, he's kind of a, like a... <laughs> like a savage Tarzan kind of guy. Well, tell us about Monkey's combat style, because his character design obviously sort of informs that, but it, like the way he puts his combos together and all that sort of thing. Well, Monkey has multiple different abilities. One is his combat style, uh, you know, melee with a staff, so that's very acrobatic. He does link some of his uh, combos together, you know, flipping over the shoulder, all that stuff. But he also has ranged attack, which is really cool. It's something that you unlock as you're going through the game. His staff becomes a ranged weapon, uh, which uh, gives you a different kind of uh, gameplay mechanic. So you're not always bashing through with your fists and your staff. Okay, and he's actually played by... He's actually played by Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis also helped uh, co-direct all of the ba uh, sequences that are happening in the game. So Andy Serkis is actually doing the voice as well. Yes. If, uh, for those of you who might not know, Andy Serkis played Gollum. Um, on Lord of the Rings. On Lord of the Rings. He was also King Kong. That's one character, Monkey. Yes. Tell us about the second character. The second character is by the name of Trip. She's a 19-year-old girl who is very tech-savvy. Uh, she grew up in a very tight-knit community, and unfortunately, she got captured by one of the slave ships. In her capture, she ends up you know, crashing the system, meeting Monkey, and in turn enslaves Monkey to try to get him to take her home. And that's where our journey begins. She is delicate. She can't defend herself with her hands, but what she can bring to the table is a lot of the technology that she brings in. She is the one who helps the monkey upgrade his staff. So we have a lot of these items called tech orbs that you collect throughout the game, and in doing so, she's able to take his staff or his other abilities and enhance them. And they have sort of an uneasy truce, don't they? She's not an evil character, but he, she put the magic headband on him, and now he can't get away. Correct. I, in the beginning, it's a very much a love-hate relationship. He hates her. <laughs> There's a sort of a two-character dynamic where lots of times she'll be in one place and you've got to take out some enemies so she can cross, or she'll be somewhere to hit a switch for you, that sort of cooperative thing. There's a lot of cooperative uh, gameplay here. Although you're only playing as Monkey, you do work very well together. She can be an asset. She's not always somebody that you need to get through in certain locations. She's able to distract for you. She's able to upgrade your uh, weapons for you. She also has the ability of scanning enemies. So if you've killed an enemy once, she gets to scan it, and the next time you run into that enemy, she gives you um, tips on how to take them down, all their weak points, and also how to use their uh, machinery against them. We have some of our scouts are called Gunner Scouts, and she helps Monkey understand that she can he can actually use their mach uh, machine guns for himself. Okay, now we just got a little bit more time. I want to talk about what I consider the third character and the one that I would have wanted as a pet when I was a little boy, the hey. dragon. So the dragonflies have been around since the wars happened. They were kind of surveillance cameras. And when they come into an area where they're not quite sure as to what's going on or they see a lot of enemies and they want to figure out which route to take, they'll send them up. 
the dragonfly does a scan and all those scanned objects uh, come into monkey's eyes so basically he gets to see them and then they can plan out which direction is going to be the best for them to take when does it come out and it's coming out october 5th on both uh, playstation 3 and xbox 360 we do have some uh, pre-order DLCs with some of our retailers. Um, we have three different skins, and uh, each of them come with an ability. So you guys can check out our website, and they'll let you know exactly which retailer has those. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time. No problem. We really appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. We'll be sure to come back and spend more time playing Enslaved.